Well, they tell us that the city made this decision with crew captains last summer and they feel like they had very little to no input. Therefore, like you said, they are now taking their fight online and to social media. It's being led, check this out, by a group who sent an open letter and called, they're called the NOLA Showgirls. They claim that over a dozen marching groups like the Baby Dolls, Organ Grinders, 610 Stompers, and Rolling Elvi all could be affected, plus many more. Everything was worked out once again last summer between Carnival Captains and the City of New Orleans. They agreed on a max of 12 opening groups before the league float and then just one band, dance group or club between each of the following floats. Marching groups now say they need to have a seat at the table for these discussions. The message in this uh, that came out was that, that we were you know, holding up the parades and um, I don't feel that when people go to the parades that they, they realize they have to put up with the traffic and the time involved. Uh, but oftentimes we're held up because uh, floats break down, axles break, um, things like that. This decision was made by the city for this year, and if the council approves it, it will be in effect for 2019 as well. To see more on this petition, just go to our Facebook page right now at WDSU. For now, we're live uptown. I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.